Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to episode 3 of the Oblivion Walkthrough. So in this episode, what we're going to be doing is buying the Anvil House and completing the quest associated with it. And I guess doing a few more Black things if we have enough time. But anyway, uh, it costs 5,000 yes, gold. My grandfather's house. I have to sell and there's a reason why it's so cheap, but we'll see why that is first. There's a quest involved with it. So anyway, we just bought the home. And we're going to go to the Benarus Manor, which is over this direction, all the way to the end of the town. Uh, this is one of the ha houses that's actually pretty close to the teleport spot, so that's pretty nice. But anyway, when we first go in there, the house is going to be all crappy and beat up looking, but it will be better. But anyway, I'm really glad I got this home, because in the first, um, I guess, attempt at a walkthrough that I did, uh, what I did is I bought the... Um, Bravo House, I believe, and the Bravo House is really tiny, and I just didn't like it, and it was also really far away from uh, a teleport spot. But anyway, here's the Benarus Manor. And it says, I can now make myself a home. Yeah, as you can see, it's going to be pretty beat up. It's also going to be pretty dark, um, so I apologize for that, but that's just kind of how the home is until you repair it. So it doesn't look great. Uh, there is an upstairs as well that I thought you could get to from downstairs. Oh yeah, here it is. So this is the upstairs house, but as you can see, I mean, this house is pretty big, so it's going to be pretty nice. And this is it. It looks pretty awful. But if we go down in the basement, we'll find out the reason why this place looks terrible. Can you get out of my way, please? Thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay, so we have to go down in the basement. It's going to be a little bit creepy, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys will be alright. And I believe there should be some, like, symbols on the wall. Pretty unhealthy looking ones. There we go. This thing. So we open up this portal, I believe. There's a way to open this. I guess clicking on it does not work. I'm sorry about that, guys. I remembered what you have to do. I promise I didn't look up a guide or anything. I just actually remembered. So you have to sleep in the bed, and once you do that... Oh my goodness, there's ghosts. So, yeah. As soon as you sleep in the bed, ghosts come out, and then you can burn them. Uh, flare is still the best fire spell I have at the moment, so that's what I just have to deal with yet, right now. I hope I don't die, goodness. I actually might die to a bunch of ghosts. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh-oh. Jump. Run. Get out my healing spell. I remember those ghosts being very, very easy, but I think last time I did this quest, I was a pretty high level with, like, an enchanted sword, so it wasn't too difficult. But anyway, let's see. Um, do I have any recover mana items? I do not believe that I do. So I'm just going to have to run around and bide a bit of time while waiting for my flare to recharge. Because, I mean, this is the best thing I have to fight ghosts with. I don't have any enchanted weapons. So that's not going to work. Just run around in circles and hope that they don't kill me. Oh, one's dead. Two more to go. But yeah, I am actually playing on a, a much higher difficulty than I normally play on. I'm playing on, like, medium difficulty and... Uh, when I used to play this game a few years ago, back when I was still a little bit younger, and I, at the time I was honestly awful at video games. I'm still not great. Like, I, I'm not very... I don't have great reaction time or anything. Um, so it's really hard for me to do platformers and stuff. But at the time, I was so bad at video games that I would just uh, put everything on the easiest difficulty level. And that's what I did with this game as well. But anyway, I think we're training destruction here as well, which is pretty nice. Can you just please die? This flare spell does hardly any damage. It only does... Yeah, six points of damage. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. That's really, really bad. But it's all, all that I have. I do have a, a, frost, a frost spell as well that's a bit better. Um, but I can't use it against these guys because they're resistant to frost. Frost doesn't hurt them. I don't think shock does either. Uh, I think I have a shock spell as well. I could try that. Oh, never mind, he's dead anyway. 
So, yeah, I was attacked. And I think the quest says to go seek out that guy again. Oh, no, never mind. As I woke, I heard a crash from downstairs. I should go down and investigate. Now that um, the symbols on the wall that I showed you guys earlier, now those are open. Let's check real fast. Oh, I was just seeing if there's any alchemy ingredients in there. Usually when you see chests shaped like that, well, I guess they're not chests, but cupboards, uh, there's alchemy ingredients. Now we open? Maybe? I thought I heard a crash from downstairs. I should search the house and investigate. Well, I mean, I'm here. It doesn't open, though. Oh my goodness. I really hope this quest isn't glitching out or anything. I could have sworn you go here. Yet again, I'm just getting too far ahead of myself. So for this part, what you need to do is... Should be, yes, this thing over here. There's a skeletal hand and a scrap from Lorgren's diary. You have to take these. And after you take those, you need to go and find, I believe, Velwind. The guy that you bought the house from. And he's run off to the Imperial City. That, that's the one part of the quest that I do remember, is he's run off. He's in the Imperial City now. Um, but you have to go talk to some people uh, at the bar that he was staying at first. So he really did not want anything to do with that house because he knew it was haunted. So what he was trying to do is just sell it as quickly as possible and then get the heck out of Dodge. So we have to go find him. But first, um, since you know this is one of those games where you, even if you know what to do next, you can't do it unless you do the step before it. Anyway, do you know where Bellwind is? No, nope, I guess you don't. I think it's the uh, the barmaid here that you need to talk to. Oh, not barmaid. Oops, sorry. I'm this guy is clearly not a maid. As soon as you bought the place. Yep, I knew that. So, he's headed to the Imperial City. And I don't exactly know. Oh, I was going to say I don't exactly know where in the Imperial City he is, but they actually gave us an arrow for this part. That'd be pretty rough if they made you search the entire Imperial City and didn't tell you where he was. I mean, this is a pretty big place to be searching all over. Um, and he's in the King and Queen Tavern. So, let's go find him. Oh, okay. I'm surprised this How nice of you. So, I Just come back with me, and we'll get rid of the curse. I'll see you when I'm... Alright, so he agrees to come back with you. I'm surprised I didn't have to bribe him, because usually people like that, you gotta bribe him. So he should be back at the bar in Anvil now, and we can go over and uh, get rid of the curse on the house. It's something to do with his dead uncle, was kind of a necromancer or something like that. And he did some bad stuff, and that's why the house is haunted. New topic, new topic, new topic. I don't see anyone around here, though. I mean, there's Five this guard, but... <laughs> Never mind. Every time you see a new topic up on the screen, that means if you talk to the person who's talking about that topic, you can get a quest. But, um... I'm ready as didn't I see where he was. So I guess he's upstairs? I'm ready. Nope, he's right here. Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh no, I have to follow him. Great. I don't see... I mean, we're both going to the same place. Can we just say, hey, we'll meet up over there. Let's go. But we have to follow him. Just collect some alchemy ingredients on the way. Might as well not waste time. Let's see how close I am to the next level. Actually, I am ready to level up, because in the last episode I was ready to level up to level 6, but I never slept in a bed. Um... So I should be almost ready to level up to level 7 even, which is pretty exciting. And I still need some more arrows. I did get repair hammers. Like I said in the last episode, I really needed repair hammers. I did get some, so I have a whole bunch of repair hammers now. 15. Actually, that's not a whole bunch. I mean, after a few battles, I'll go through all of those. So, But anyway, those are always very, very handy well, to get. Probably one of the most useful I items. I don't know you. You don't know me. Everybody's happy. Okay. And we'll leave it at that. 
But one thing that's nice about leveling up is I have a lot more Majikin now because I've been, um, what is this skill? I think intelligence, yeah. I've been um, getting my intelligence and willpower up. My willpower is still very low. Your willpower is how fast your Majika regenerates, so I really, really need to um, buff my willpower a little bit. But my intelligence, I've been getting that up pretty high, so I have a lot more Majika now. And um, the good thing with training up with magic is you get to train your intelligence and willpower quite a bit. So that means um, I'm going to be able to, you know, cast some of those really good spells like invisibility and stuff later on. And this guy is so slow. And look at the pants he's wearing. He's wearing like red tights. Oh my goodness. Would you go? Would you guys go outside in this outfit? That's embarrassing. And he's also got a ponytail. I mean, come on, man. It's not really the best, the best dress wear. It's not the most manly dress wear. That's what I was trying to say. I just look like a complete boss. All kind of leather, leather crap. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> he's so slow. All we need him to do is he goes downstairs and he's actually going to open up that sealed portal thing that I kept trying to open and I couldn't because, you know, I blasted this quest two years ago so I couldn't really remember what to do. Okay, I should proceed okay. with caution and go downstairs. Yes, you lead the way from here. Thank you, finally. We can now go the non-retarded way. Why is there more ghosts in here? Um, we're going to try out this shocking touch, because I'm not exactly sure whether... Oh, ghosts can be killed by shock. I was going to say, they're, I know they're invulnerable to cold, I just didn't know if they're invulnerable to shock or not. The nice thing with touch spells is, I mean, yeah, they're close range, but they typically do a lot more damage. So if you're into that. But the, I think the reason why ghosts are invulnerable to cold is because they actually use cold damage. That's what they do, so... I don't know, it's kind of like in most RPGs, like fire monsters can't be hurt by fire. Stuff like that. One more should do it. No. Okay, one more now should do it. Come on. He's not even attacking me. Alright, there we go. Not exactly sure where those ghosts came from, but... Um... I would not be surprised if there's more of them, to be honest. But we're gonna try our best to avoid them. I think there are a couple more ghosts down here. Yep. What did I tell you guys? And, of course, I have... Um... No Majika. Come on. Let's go. I'm just waiting for my Majika to regenerate. I still have no potions or anything to restore that any quicker. Luckily he can't die. Otherwise, standing there, I was going to say that that's a bit dicey, dude. I don't know if I would do that. Really, I missed him. Die. Run. Run and wait for my Majika to regenerate. Okay, all the ghosts are now dead. That actually took a really long time. And as you can see, I'm actually almost dead as well. So, and we've arrived at the secret door. But yeah, I came very, very close to death there. I was completely... I had, like, no health left on the on the health bar there. I somehow survived it. But anyway, those ghosts were a lot tougher than I expected going into this quest. Okay, so he's just going to rub the symbols for a while. Is he going to do anything with them? Lead on. I yeah, lift the curse. Okay, well, do it. Come on, I'm waiting. He did. Huh? Okay. I guess he opened the door. And there we go. I was expecting, like, a mystic portal or something. Tome of Unlife. I think we were supposed to take that. Not that I wanted to. And then, yeah, this there's this guy. He's, uh, he's kind of the evil one who caused all of this. I'm just checking if there's any chests around. I don't think there is. I mean, hey, we're getting a house as a reward for this quest. That's good enough. Um, what we need to do for this part... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We actually have to fight this guy. So I may make my final peace with the 
Okay, so what we have to do here... This guy would just stop talking. <laughs> yeah, we get to fight him. Basically, that's why you wanted to keep the skeletal hand. So I don't remember. I don't think we can kill him with a sword. Oh, never mind. We can. I was gonna say. And this is the part where my actual uh, microphone broke again. So guys, I don't really know what to tell you. Um, It's happened two straight videos in a row, and before that, like, I don't even want to count how many videos where my microphone just unplugs itself. It doesn't make any sense. I think it's just the microphone jack on my computer itself. It might be the microphone. I don't know. I'm, I'd love to get a better one, and I definitely would if I could afford it. But, uh, for some reason, uh, the mic... I just get a notification that says your audio device is unplugged and then a few seconds later your audio device is replugged but every time that happens I lose all, all audio from that point on um, well my voice at least I don't lose the in-game audio thankfully but anyway um, pretty much I cut out a ton of footage here I cut out about five minutes of footage uh, where I was just showing you guys around the house but that would not be very fun to watch when I'm doing post commentary. So um, I basically gave you guys a tour of the house and showed you where I store everything. But I'm sure I'll show that in a later episode or something. So if you're curious about my house, you'll see it. But uh, what I decided to do was just cut right ahead to um, where I started the next Mage's Guild quest. Because I figured, hey, we have enough time for one last hurrah, one last uh, Mage's Guild recommendation quest, so I decided to um, go ahead and do the quest in Anvil, um, and I almost spit speed ran this quest. I did it in like three minutes or something. I think that's the fastest uh, quest I've done so far in this game. But anyway, um, I did have to go to work, and um, anyway, yeah, so I was kind of in a rush, so I had to you know get this done as fast as possible. But actually, this is the part where I'm finally turning in the quest for. Um, what's it called, Spirits at Rest, something like that, the quest that gets you the Anvil House. Um, so turning the quest doesn't really do anything, you don't get any additional rewards for it, you just have the quest completed, that's all, and it's no longer in your quest log. So here I cut ahead to where I am at the uh, Mage's Guild in Anvil, and I went ahead and did the recommendation quest. So um, all you have to do for this quest is you have to go to an inn called Breen Cross Inn, and then you have to stay the night there, and you have to pretend like you're a merchant and a rogue mage. I uh, will try to kill you when you go out on the road. But anyway, I'm sorry that this episode is a bit shorter. I said I wanted to have them like around half an hour, and this one is only 22 minutes, but you got to realize I did cut out five minutes of footage. Um, but, you know, those five minutes of footage weren't the best five minutes of footage that you'd ever see in your life anyway. It's just me showing you around the house. But I have had the Anvil house, like... I don't know, four times before when I've played this game or something. Um, so I do kind of have a set place where I want to put everything. So all you gotta do is, I guess, talk to her. She's actually a mage in disguise, and she's also a mage, but she's evil. Um, so you just gotta stay the night here. Uh, and then uh, the, the good mage will wake you up in the middle of the night, and you gotta talk to her, which is a bit creepy and a bit off-putting. But anyway, that's what you gotta do. Um, so I only have one more Mage's Guild recommendation quest after I finish this one, which is the Skingrad one, which will be in the next episode. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I'm just about, I almost said just about done with the Mage's Guild. No, I'm not even close to done with the Mage's Guild, but I'm just about ready to actually enter the real Mage's Guild in the Imperial City. Um, whatever it's called. I can't quite remember the name of it right now. But, um, the Arcane University, that's it. We're just about ready to ar enter the Arcane University and become a real wizard. So that's pretty awesome. But anyway, you actually have to spend the night here, which is kind of annoying. They don't let you just sleep in the bed for an hour and leave, which I really wanted to do, but they wouldn't let me. And yeah, I get su surprised by her, but... 
Anyway, so that's about it. I really hate doing not live commentary. It's just so much easier when you're doing live commentary. You're just like in the flow and you can talk about what's happening around you. But, you know, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but my microphone jack is just not working because it keeps unplugging my microphone and I hate it. And I don't know if that's really something you, that you could fix on a computer, like fix the microphone jack. I don't know if you could do that. Um, maybe, but I don't imagine if, even if you can, I don't imagine it would be cheap. So, and I'm broke, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. But anyway, my money that I do earn is going towards a good purpose, so... I'm not too worried. You know, I it, it does cause a little bit of discomfort every once in a while because I have to, you know, I delete some footage or do some post-life commentary, but in the end, you know, I still got a pretty cool YouTube channel. Lots of cool people watching the videos, so I have a lot to be thankful for. But anyway, she su summons a Dramora, which is kind of crazy, you know, because I'm only level 7 at the time, ready to level up to level 8, because as you saw um, in the upper left-hand corner of the screen a few seconds ago, it said you should rest and meditate on what you've learned, that means I leveled up to level 8, but you gotta sleep in bed first for some reason, I don't know why, but in this game you have to sleep in a bed before you can level up, it doesn't make any sense, they probably had to find out a reason to actually have beds in the game, or inns, you know, there'd be no other reason to have inns. Uh, if there's no purpose for beds. But anyway, I'm about to go turn in this quest. I don't remember what you get for it. You probably get some crappy scrolls or something like most so. mages guild rewards. Let me guess. Three scrolls. Yes, I think so. Oh, I guess not. I always thought you got a uh, reward for that quest, but I guess you just get nothing. Which is... You know, I, I can't say that's better than nothing, because nothing is not better than nothing, but next time we'll be doing the uh, Skin Grad Mage's Guild recommendation quest, and then moving on to bigger and better things at the Arcane University. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, playlist link is down in the description, and feel free to stay tuned for the next episode, which should be coming out later today or something.